Hi everyone, welcome back to Advanced English, where we come together to explore the intricacies of the English language and communication <laughs> with Greg and Mary Daphne. So it's great to see you here today. So it's the start of a new year, 2021. Yes, it is. And what generally happens at the beginning of the year? I think people like to make New Year's resolutions. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so you've probably heard of it before, a New Year's resolution. So we're going to talk about what that means and come up with some examples and give you a chance on your own time to figure out some of your own New Year's resolutions. So let's yeah. get into it. Yeah. So what's a resolution? That's sure. the question. Yeah. So a resolution... Often, I think formally, it's in a contract, right? In, in a negotiation, yeah. uh, two parties resolve to do something, right? Um, so they uh, essentially commit to uh, a certain part of the agreement right. or the agreement as a whole, right? Yes. We resolve to do this and that. So resolution uh, is, is essentially, in my mind, it's a commitment uh, or a pledge to doing something. Definitely. And in the context of New Year's resolutions, you can think of it as something like a habit or a behavior that you'd like to continue, right? Because maybe the previous year you did something really great for yourself, like working out regularly, and you want to continue that workout consistency. So something that you can continue. It's something that you might want to change, maybe a behavior that mm. you're not crazy about. Maybe you want to be more patient because you find that you're impatient. And lastly, it can be something that's a goal that you want to achieve or accomplish. Like, I want to run 10K um, this year, mm. or I want to learn how to cook something, a dish, <laughs> right? Something like that. Yeah, those are great. Those are great. Um, I think of, for me, often uh, my resolutions revolve around behaviors. Yeah. Right? So I resolve to be more consistent with my workouts. Yeah. Or to make more time to read, right? Yeah, that's a good one. So often my resolutions tend to be around certain behaviors. There's one other thing I wanted to clarify about the word resolution. Yeah. Because uh, there's another definition of resolution, which essentially means to fix, right? right? You can resolve a problem um, or you can resolve a situation. Yeah. And that's a Conflict little different. Conflict resolution. Conflict, right? Exactly. That's, yeah. 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 Um, and that's a little different. That has more to do with fixing the situation. Right. Whereas in this case, a New Year's resolution, we're resolving to do something, right? right? Like we were saying. Right, the commitment that Greg talked commitment. about. Exactly. So anyways, yeah. like a, not to get us off track, you were talking about sort of what, what uh, I would normally do. Uh, it's typically behaviors. I like, yeah. to, I like to resolve to improve certain behaviors of mine. Yeah, so when we make a resolution, we, we want to incorporate that new activity or a new behavior. Um, so like for me, this year, one of my resolutions is to stretch more mm. and to do more like yoga uh, because I do a lot of strength and resistance training and that kind of thing, but I feel like I don't stretch enough. And so for me, that's an activity that I've made, you know, something that I would like to do as my resolution. Um, and I want to stick to this resolution. I want to keep to this resolution because a lot of times what ends up happening, right? What ends up happening, Greg? You end up breaking your resolution, right? You uh, yeah. deviate from the path you or stray from the path, right? Right. right. I'm trying to think of um, other, other ways of um, phrasing it, right? Right, like veering off. Veering off, yeah. And anyways, you don't uphold your resolution. It's maybe the most formal way to put it. Yeah. I didn't uphold my resolution, right? I didn't uphold my commitment. Right. Um, and that totally happens. Typically, we commit early on. Yeah. And We're gung-ho. Yeah, we're so... We're enthusiastic. Super enthusiastic about yeah. it. And, you know, after a few months pass, yeah. even a few weeks, 
you know, that, that, that level of resolve starts to decline a right. little bit. It right. suddenly becomes less and less important. You have other priorities that you want to, yeah. uh, that take precedence over the resolution, right. Right, that become more important suddenly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's natural. So, uh, you know, what I do to avoid that uh, personally is I make my resolutions very achievable. Yeah. Right? Yeah, realistic. Me meaning they're very easy to accomplish, yeah. very manageable. Um, and that way, it's not a challenge for me. It's not a task yeah. so much as it's a um, slight adjustment mm. to, my, to my normal day. Yeah. And the reality is uh, a lot of improvement can be derived from just small tweaks. We often think we need to make yeah. big, huge changes to our lives. But the truth is just little tweaks can go a very long way toward improving aspects of your life. I love that. It's such a great point. And we don't have to overwhelm ourselves with a whole list. Sure, of course, I think, I think we can all come up with 10, 20 items that could potentially be a New Year's resolution. Yep. But if you really want to stick to it and uphold those commitments to yourself, then it's much better to be realistic about it, make it achievable, and maybe have one or two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So my other one is to have to be on top of my inbox. I get a lot of emails mm. to multiple accounts, right? Uh, business and and so forth, and it's really important for me to stay on top of that. Yeah. So the business ones I'm really on top of. It's my personal inbox that just gets you know inundated, flooded with emails, and I need to be on top of those this year. Yeah, that's so. a good one. All right, yeah. I, I mean, I think that about covers the, the, the topic of yeah. these resolutions. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's one of those things, I th I've heard some people, uh, uh, someone that we follow, a yeah. fellow named Tim Ferriss, yeah. instead of doing New Year's resolutions, he does a New Year's, a New Year's uh, audit or assessment. Oh, interesting. And so he looks back at the previous year yeah. and sort of grades himself on a variety of metrics. So uh, for a lot of people, uh, a New Year's resolution is about looking forward. Yeah. His is a retrospective, right? right? It's so looking, looking back. back. And so that's also some food for thought. Maybe if you're not so into, you know, trying to fix what you do in the future, some, some, some people prefer to improve themselves through revisiting what they've already done. That's a great point. Yeah, so figure out which one is more your style, what jives with you. Maybe write down a few of your own you know, maybe like audits or resolutions for this coming year, this year, yeah. and feel feel it out. See how it goes for you. Absolutely. Yeah. All, All right. right. We'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everyone. Happy Advanced English Learning. <laughs>